All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku at rainbow status here on the global side of the game. And this dude, along with the STR Majin Vegeta that also got his EZA today, is an absolute monster, as you guys will see in just a second. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over the details for this Goku. So for anybody that already knows what he does, feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the gameplay. All right, so starting with his leader skill, he gives Goku's family key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 130%, or AGL types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 100%. His super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And his passive changes STR key spheres to AGL key spheres, and then attack plus 20%, defense plus 10%, and recovers 10,000 HP per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% when facing a Vegeta's, uh, sorry, 5% per, per key sphere obtained when facing a Vegeta's family category enemy. So he's actually kind of similar to the STR Majin Vegeta, except he gets more healing as opposed to defense, whereas uh, Vegeta gets 20% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. This guy gets 20% attack, 10% defense, so less defense, but 10,000 healing. So he's going to be healing you for a ton of HP, which is pretty useful for... You know, some of the harder events in this game like Super Battle Road, um, Legendary Goku events, so on and so forth, where you really need to keep your HP at a decent level so a super doesn't kill you, right? His links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan on the family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, Supreme Warrior, or sorry, Supreme Power, and Shattering the Limit. And he has six categories, Goku's Family, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Other World Warriors, and Super Saiyan 2. So, there you go, that is the Goku, and uh, since he gets additional attack and defense when facing uh, Vegeta's family enemies, we are on the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Dokkan event, and uh, as you can see, we pretty much have like the perfect rotation here. So this is um, gonna be a very, very nice super we're getting here because we have him linked up with one of his best linking partners, the exchange Goku and uh, Gohan, and we also have the 50% support from the uh, AGL pan. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 orbs for the first attack. Uh, this might be the highest attack stat we get for this entire showcase, so uh, should be pretty good. Alright, here we go. First attack. We're getting 12 orbs. I think I counted right. I could be a little bit off, but 12 orbs. And we're looking at 140,000 defense. Like I said, he doesn't get as much defense as Vegeta, but 140k is still pretty good. It's not like, you know, crazy levels of tanking, but he will be able to take a good amount of attacks. All right, so here we go. 12 orbs. Attack goes up to 3.3 million. All right. All right. Oh, okay. 3.4 mil crit. That's a pretty good first attack. And man, if you ask me, I, it doesn't get that much better than that, man. Keep in mind, this dude is not even a Dokkan Fest exclusive. He's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive. They just decided to make him, like, ridiculously good for some reason. Him and the Majin Vegeta. Now, between the two, I do think that the Majin Vegeta is a little bit better. All right. I don't think he's, like that much better but i do think with his extra uh, attack and defense or just extra attack uh, defense i think majin vegeta is the better unit between the two but goku is still very very good and his healing is some of the best healing you can get in this game like 10,000 hp per key sphere is a ton a ton of hp and you got to keep in mind he doesn't just do that right he gets a lot of attack he gets a good amount of defense and uh, just overall a really freaking good unit. Um, I would say that these two guys are not quite as good, of course, as the new Dokkan Fest, Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, but they rival them, man. They really do, especially the Vegeta, especially the Vegeta. Okay, so on this turn, we have no support, but we do have a lot of orbs this time again. Uh, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orbs. So nine orbs and check out the healing here. All right, this is gonna be a good showcase of his healing ability. Boom, 
and we healed back up to 459,000. So we got almost like 100k right there. Not bad, not bad. And we're looking at 123,000 defense. Um, let's see how much we get hit for. I'm, I'm guessing like it's not going to be that bad. I mean, especially because it's the Dokkan event. So uh, we should be tanking these attacks pretty well. Okay, so 62 right there. 2.8 mil without the support this time. And oh, waiting for 2.2 again. Yo, does this guy have like... He doesn't have extra crit chance or anything like that, so I'm not really sure like why we're getting so many crits, but I'm not complaining, of course. I'm not complaining, it's just that's kind of crazy, man. Okay, so we're gonna keep the pan out of rotation. Hopefully, we can get her back one more time before the showcase ends. Uh, maybe not. Obviously, we're gonna keep the AGL orbs as many as possible for the Goku and uh, try to get like as close to a full board as we possibly can. As close to a full board as we possibly can. Like, I don't think it's gonna happen. I need to bring some orb changing items for that, but I don't like to bring them for showcases, as you guys know. So, uh, we're just gonna see what naturally happens. But because this guy changes orbs, um, the Goku that is, he changes his orbs or his own orbs, he basically is able to get a good amount of orbs every single turn, right? It's STR to AGL, right? Um, so, every turn you're looking at at least like four or five orbs, maybe seven or eight orbs. And let's see how many we get on this turn. That's a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so the reason I brought the uh, Goten is to also get some extra linking, right? Because um, he changes uh, orbs to rainbow. So we're looking at here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think that's the most we can possibly get here. 13 orbs, right? Wait, hold up. Um, oh no, I was thinking like he might raise... Oh, he doesn't. Okay, it's another one. So, I was like, does he raise attack for the rotation if he attacks first? But he doesn't, so we're going to leave him there. And I don't think we get any extra attack links. We don't. Okay, so we're going to leave Goku there. We're going to give him 13 orbs here. And he gets 158,000 defense with those orbs. And I don't really care what anybody else does because Vegeta's dead. Like, he's not surviving this attack. He's not surviving this attack. Here we go. 13 orbs. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, 3.9 mil, almost 4 million, and we crit for 4 million. Why is he critting so much, though? What are we doing here that's making him crit so much? Hold on, there's no support on rotation. I know I've done previous videos where I was like, oh, we're critting so much, but I forgot that we actually had crit chance from the Supreme Kai of Time and also West Supreme Kai, but we don't have that here. So... Wow. Okay. That's kind of wild, man. That, that That's pretty wild. Alright, well, um... That is, is mostly the showcase. I don't think you guys need to see that much more, but we're gonna finish this off, of course. We can't just leave, um, you know, in the middle of, a, of an event, so... Yeah, we're gonna keep it going. Uh, hopefully get one more attack from Goku. The Super Saiyan 2 Goku, that is. Hopefully these Gokus don't finish off Vegeta. Uh, we'll see. All right, 1.2 mil, that's not too much. Okay, we're gonna get supered here. Not gonna take too much damage, obviously. But I was gonna do a second Dokkan event. I don't even think it's necessary at this point because you guys have seen a lot from this Goku already, right? Like, you guys agree with me, he's a monster. The healing, the damage, even the defense is not bad. Um, if you get a good amount of orbs, I mean, if you get lucky with the board and everything, he can get easily over 150k uh, defense. Okay, so, ooh, not the greatest setup here. Uh, let me think. So if we put maybe Goku and Gohan here. Actually, no, why don't we put a Pan here? We'll give her the tech orbs. Then we drop some AGL. And we can get, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm, 8 orbs, I mean, that's kind of the average I think you're going to expect to get for a regular rotation. So I guess, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Okay, we're getting a, <laughs> we're getting a ad for, or a notification for leggings. I'm pretty sure that's my girlfriend's YouTube channel. It's not mine. I just want to be clear. Not my notification. Believe me, guys, it's not. I mean, you can, you can believe what you, whatever you want. Maybe I do 
follow channels um, that review leggings, but that's really not mine. Anyways, that's the showcase, guys. Matita's dead. We basically crit with every single attack. Um, yeah, we crit with every single attack in this run, which, uh, I mean, not for everybody, but for Goku himself, the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. He just did ridiculous damage his entire time. Like I said, he doesn't get additional crit chance. He just has level 15 crit in his hidden potential system. And we annihilated Vegeta, man. That that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. This dude's a monster. The healing, the damage, even the tanking. Impressive. Alright, so. Uh, that's gonna be the showcase for this guy right here. We will be doing one for the STR Majin Vegeta later today, so stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku's Extreme Z Awakening. Are you impressed like I am, or do you think he's kind of meh, like whatever, or do you have some other opinions? Let me know in the comments down below, all right? And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it was a fun watch for you. It was definitely fun for me to make, because this dude, is a monster and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.